So I'm looking up right now in my – hi, this is David, by the way. I'm looking up in my music shed with my rock band program chart, like the charts that I write, chord charts. I got thousands of them that I've written. Um, I'm trying to see if we have this song, Interstate Love Song. I know I've heard it before. I can't remember how it goes, though, but I know I've heard this song. Um, that comes off, by the way. I just want you guys to know that. Okay. My ADD is creeping in, so that's, <laughs> so that's happening right now. Um, we're doing a seven, seven song, uh, Stone Temple Pilots, uh, thing for you guys and me, really. It's more for me. I don't even care about you guys. <clears throat> Scott Weiland, Dean and Robert DeLeo and Eric Kretz. I'm getting educated and uh, inspired by this band today. Uh, they hit me in all the feels. They hit me intellectually, spiritually, and emotionally, and physically. I literally get my heart starts pounding when these guys are playing. Um, this song is from their second album called Purple. And apparently this was written by their bassist. The music was. Um, Robert. Just love his bass playing. All the stuff that he brings to the table uh, as a writer and a, and a musician. And it was originally written as a bossa nova. So... We're gonna go. We're gonna check that out. Uh, and uh, and apparently the topic, the 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 uh, meaning of the song, the the lyrics were inspired by the trouble that Scott Weiland was having with his girlfriend, Janina, at the time. Is that her name, Janina? Okay, you guys will know because you guys are huge Stone Temple Pilots fans. Okay, so let's go. Uh, Interstate love song. Yes, go. How it. So much misery. You evil little worm, get out. Oh no. Evil little worm. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Woo! It's not a snare drum. Oh! Uh. Ho-ho! There's so much going on here. Man, this bass player is, I think he's now one of my favorite modern rock bass players. He really is. Um, and writers. Uh, I love how that song starts and how it goes. The intro is like a two part thing. It's like how it, how it really ramps up and rocks out. Um, and yeah, let's just get more into it. On a Sunday afternoon, oh, oh, I between the lines. Uh. The lines. Uh. The feeling like a hand of rusted chain. So, do you laugh or does it cry? got really cool chord progression love that
There's that Telecaster again. So I wonder a couple things. Seems to be a lot of love in this band. I don't know what their dynamics were when he was alive in terms of how they got along, but uh, it seems like there's a real true bond here. Um, I also always wonder, because I'm a piano player and I never like, shared a mic with anyone on stage. I always have my own mic in my own little space. And I always wonder when people share a microphone with the other bandmates, if they have like, if someone's got really bad breath, does that bother them? I actually think about that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Do you guys think about that too? Okay. Um, the song isn't, they they are an intense band, very musical, uh, very rock and roll. Uh, I'm not saying anything like, you know, earth shattering here, but uh, they really do have their own sound. And Scott Weiland's voice um just really captures the essence of their music. You know, without him, would they have been as successful and and as as uh, generationally inspiring as they were? I don't know. So wait, let's let's hear it as a bossa nova. Uh, sorry, I'm just learning the song right now. Totally hear that. Uh. That's great. Oh, I want to mention the snare drum too. It's really loud, it's really in your face, and it's really metallic sounding, the snare drum. It's really smacking us in the face. us off it's disconcerting it's it's not following it's a little bit ragged and jagged and angular just like you know air guitar this and sing the wow 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 how many zillions of times has that been done since the song came out right that's my gum when you 
guys, come on. Sheer it seriously. To me, this music just kicks so much ass. It's ass kicking rock and roll with depth and meaning and musicality and soul. And, 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 and it's like you got these individual guys that come together and they make this really appealing sound together. They have their own kind of spaceship. And it appeals to me very much, as you can tell. What I love that song. It's been a long time since I've heard it. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I think that was number, was that number four or five, Howie? That was number four? What was it? Five. That was number five in our series. Interstate Love Song. Don't forget to do all your YouTube stuff. And remember, you guys are supposed to send me a t-shirt, your favorite Stone Temple Pilots t-shirt, a large. I'll put my address somewhere in the comments, I guess. Okay? Send me one of your favorites. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm either going to get no shirts or like 10,000 of them. Let's see what ha what happens. If you guys, Stone Temple Pilots are people of of a giving nature. Um. Do all your YouTube stuff and have a very musical day. And just get in your car and fucking crank STP today. Do that for me, too. Have a musical day.